let us learn few multiple choice questions from the topic numbers and numeration so first question is what is the successor of largest eight digit number so for that the largest eight digit number is 9 crore 99 lakh 99999 if you want to find its successor we need to add one to it so after adding one we get the number 10 crores so if we count we have the nine digits here and this is the smallest number so our correct option is smallest nine digit number next question is one crore is equal to how many millions so we have to tell that how many millions are there in one crore for that we first write one crore it is written like this in indian system now we want to express this in terms of millions and millions is used in international system so in international system we have the places ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands hundred thousands million ten millions so you can clearly see that that one crore has ten millions in it so our answer is ten further we have to tell that ten millions is equal to how many lakh so this is 10 millions according to international system and if you want to express it in terms of lakhs, lakhs is used in Indian system. So let's write places according to Indian system that is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakh, ten lakh, crore, ten crore and so on. If we want to write 10 millions, it will be exactly one crore but I want to express it in terms of lakhs so I will break this into 100 into 1 lakh so my correct answer is 100 so 10 millions is equal to 100 lakhs now next question is there are dash zeros in 10 crores so for that we need to write 10 crore and 10 crore in indian system we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 zeros there. So our correct answer is 8. Now the next question is, commas are inserted after each dash in a number. So we have to tell that why we are having any number, how we insert commas. So for that, let's write any number uh, whose digits are 1, 4, 5, 7, 9 and 3, 6. So if I want to write it according to Indian system, so I will insert the commas according to Indian system. So ones, tens, hundreds. These three they comes in ones period. So I will insert the commas here. Then five and four they comes in thousands in ten thousands period. So this is another comma. Then we have one. This is in lakhs period. So we insert commas according to periods. So our correct answer is period here. Next question, the smallest six digit number form using the digits 9, 6, 0, 3, 5 and 4 is? So for that, we will arrange the digits in ascending order. But while we arrange the digits in ascending order, we find that it is 0, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. It is only a five digit number. So to make six digit number, we will shift this zero to second place. That is after this three. So our correct answer is 3,4560. Nine. Now the next question is which number has four in the ten thousands place among these numbers? So for that, we will first write the places, and here you can see that the commas are according to international system. So I'm going to write the places according to international system: ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So according to this, my ten thousands place is this. And here if I have a look on 10,000 place on all the four digits, I find that 4 is here. So my answer is 143,863. This number is having 4 in 10,000 place. So my next question is, which is same as 70 tens. So you can see that 70 tens can be written as 70 into 10, which makes 700. So my correct option is 700. So... 70 tens has 700s in it. 
Now next question, we have to write the short form of this. That is 60,000 plus 60 plus 6. So now this is 60,000. So let's write the places first. That is 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s and 10,000s. Here we have first the number 60,000 here. So in 10,000s place we will write 6. Then we have 60. So 6 will be written in 10s place. And this 6 will be written in 1's place. The rest of the places I will insert 0. So my correct answer is 60,066. Next question is here. The place value and face value of a digit are always equal at dash place. So obviously, we know very well that the place value and face value of a digit are equal at the 1's place only. Because it is only the 1's place where we have both that is the face value and place value equal like uh, take an example say we have the number 467 so we see the place value of this 7 this is also 7 and if we want to write its face value that is also 7 so our correct answer is one's place thanks for watching please like and subscribe ksv fund learning